Hey, what's up guys, it's Jonathan, and in this video we're gonna be taking a look at a spider. No, not that kind of spider, the Atomus spider, which is actually a color calibration tool used for the Atomus Samurai Blade or the Atomus Shogun. In this video, I'll be using it specifically with the Shogun as that's the only one that I have. But what it does is it keeps your display at the most accurate color gamma possible, making sure you retain the most detail and get the most accurate shot when shooting video. In this video, I'll cover why you need it, what it is, and I'll just uh, give you my overall opinions on it and how well it's improved my workflow. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. So the Atomus Spider cost $149. You can pick it up at many different locations, including BH Photo and Amazon. I'll link a few in the description below. So the very first thing that's in the box is the Atomus Spider itself. And you can see it's kind of shaped like a spider and has an attached cable with a USB plug on one end. Then you have another cable, which actually has an L-shaped 3.5 millimeter jack on one end and then a, another USB plug on the other end. You have some basic paperwork, including some safety information, warranty information, a website, which I will cover in one moment, and then just some general how to use the device itself. So the construction of the Atom Spider really isn't that cheap. It's actually built quite solid. On the front, you're gonna find some matte plastic with the Atomus branding right there on the front. And then you have a light right above that. And I could not for the life of me get the light to work. I'm not sure if I was doing something wrong or if the light only comes on when you do something wrong. But if you take a look at the website, you can see that the light does turn on. I just could not for the life of me get it to work. On the sides, you're gonna find some glossy plastic and you can see a few scuffs there as this is a used item like I previously said, but the glossy plastic is very susceptible to fingerprints, so keep that in mind. So the spider consists of three feet. On the bottom of those feet are pieces of foam and that's to prevent scratching when setting this on your display or monitor. You also have a circular piece of foam, which I will cover in just a little bit on why that's important. So before you can begin and do anything, you need to download the software listed on one of those pieces of documentation that I showed you in the beginning. In fact, here it is on this shot right here. So go ahead and download that. And once that is downloaded to your computer, you can go ahead and move on to the next step. So like I said in the beginning, I'll only be doing this with the Atom of Shogun, not the Samurai Blade. The steps may be a little bit different depending on which one you're doing this with. The very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take the L-shaped plug and plug it into the remote portion of the Atom of Shogun. Then take the USB port and plug it into your computer. Next, go ahead and take the USB plug on the Atom of Spider and plug it into your computer. So once you got everything plugged in and connected, go ahead and power on the Shogun and then you're ready for the next step. Next, take the Atomus Spider and put it on top of the Shogun. Make sure that foam circular piece on the bottom of the spider is sealed up to the display. No light should be able to seep through. You need to make sure it's tight because that's how it's going to calibrate the display. In my research and testing, the best way to mount the spider on top of the Shogun is as you see in this shot. So now that you've got the Atomus Spider resting on top of the Shogun, and you know that little circular foam piece is on there nice and tight so no light can seep through, you're ready for the next step. And that's to locate the software that you downloaded, whether you're on Mac or Windows, and launch it. So make sure you run that app and then click Detect. You wanna make sure it detects that you have the Shogun connected to your computer. Once it detects that it's a Shogun, you're ready to calibrate. So go ahead and click Calibrate, and then it will run through that process. While it's running through the process, you'll notice that on the Shogun, a lot of different colors are gonna come up. Greens, blues, reds, blacks, different shades of white, different shades of gray. And this is the actual calibration process to make sure that your display is going to read the most accurate colors. So that way when you're filming, it's going to give you the most accurate viewing experience. So you know what you're filming and how it's going to look in post. So right after the calibration is complete, you're gonna be greeted with a message saying that the calibration is complete. And then if you go ahead and click okay, you can see the LUTs graph. And this basically just shows you how correct your monitor or display is currently after the calibration process. If you click the little next button or more button down on the right hand side, you're gonna be taken to the actual corrections that were performed. So you can see exactly what was done. Atomos recommends that you do it every two weeks. They also recommend to let your display sit for 30 minutes before calibrating it to warm it up and get it to where it's exactly at at that current point in time. So with all that being said, the Atomos Spider is extremely important if you don't wanna do a whole lot of work in post. This is going to make sure that your white balance is correct. It's going to make sure your exposure is correct, your colors are accurate. So that way you don't have to do it in post because a lot of the times post editing takes a while, especially for me as a newbie. So here's the thing, for 149 bucks to calibrate my external monitor for my camera, I couldn't beat it, especially for 109 bucks since I got it used. 
but it's made by Data Color. And Data Color is a very reputable company that's known for making calibration tools for TVs, monitors, laptops, many other devices out there. So if you feel like checking them out, head on over to the Data Color site and you can see the other spiders they offer. Atomos just paired up with them and slapped their name on one and they started delivering the Atomos Spider. It's still made by Data Color. However, you can download software enhancements and use the Atomos Spider on computer monitors as well. But I think there's an additional fee to download that software. I'm not a professional color calibrator. I don't know a whole lot about Gamma, Luma, or color calibration, period. But I do know the colors on my Shogun since my initial purchase in December have dramatically improved since getting the Spider, and I'm able to view what I'm viewing in life on the display, getting everything I need perfect without having to do tons of work in Final Cut Pro. And to me, that makes it worth it, and that is why I purchased this thing. And since the colors do bleed and tend to fade over a period of time with any display, whether it's a computer monitor, a TV, or my Shogun, the spider is going to help me keep it correct at all times. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Let me know why in the comment section. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on all my social media sites. And of course guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.